guys so welcome back to my channel and if you're stumbling across my channel then welcome so as you can see from the title i'm doing a homeware haul and i don't think i've actually done a homeware haul on here before actually i think i have kind of showed it in like a vlog style of me getting my zara home orders but i have gone a little bit wild i feel like lockdown has made me go interior crazy like it's my latest thing it's like my latest obsession all I do is homeware shop, like I can spend hours doing it, but I just find it so therapeutic. I don't know if that's weird or not, but it's kind of like my thing at the minute. So my bank account hates me because I've been going a little bit wild. So I've been kind of like putting off filming this homeware haul for a few days because I've been waiting on some orders to come and like loads of orders have come, which is amazing, especially with the current circumstances and what's going on at the minute. A lot of these companies have been amazing with sort of like next day deliveries or like only taking a few days but i am still waiting on a few like i'm waiting on a big h&m home order to arrive so i thought i might just do this in two parts this is going to be part one and then i'll also do a homeware haul part two where obviously the rest of the stuff will have come by then hopefully and i'll sort of show you how i'm going to style those pieces around the house so once i actually have everything i can style it but for now I'm going to show you what's in this box. So I've kind of just put all my different homeware deliveries in here, if that makes sense. So it's just easier to show you. So I've got a lot of things from Zara Home. I've got things that have come from Amazon. And I recently discovered some new home brands, which is amazing, through Instagram. One is Layered Lounge, which I'm going to be showing you in this haul. And also I discovered another one called Hudson Home. And those pieces still haven't arrived yet. So they'll be in the next haul. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss part two, because that'll be a good one as well. But I'm going to get into it and most of these pieces hopefully I'll be able to link for you down below. And also there's pieces from like John Lewis and stuff which I'll be able to link down below for you guys. But anyway, I'm going to get into it and show you because I'm really excited about these pieces. And pretty much every single piece that has come I have loved. I'm not kind of wanting to return anything apart from these cushions which I need you guys' opinion on. So I might show you them first actually. So these came in my H&M order. So I've made a few H&M orders but the rest of the order hasn't come like I said. But... These arrived, I got two of them, and I got the inner cushion inside and obviously the outer cushion. The outer cushion was only £3.99, so it was an absolute bargain. But I wanted these to go in the outside area, so I'll show you a picture on the screen of how they look outside. I kind of just quickly placed them, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling it or not. I don't know if it's too much, or maybe to just have these and not the black cushions, or just the black. So, I don't know yet. I'm kind of like making my mind up. So, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, if to keep these or to return them. But they were so cheap anyway, I'm thinking maybe just to keep them and I can find somewhere else for them to go. But they are good quality and like I said, I got the inner cushion. I think the inner cushion was like £7.99 and then the outer one was £3.99. So, all together, like £10 for a cushion. Can't really complain. So yeah, I will link these down below if you do like them so you can shop them. But H&M has got some beautiful home pieces in at the minute. So I'm really excited for the rest of my order to come. And I just can't stop going on there and browsing. So I'll start with actually my Zara home order. You guys, if you are OG followers, you will know I'm obsessed with Zara home. A lot of the things in my house is from Zara home. When the shops are open, I always find myself stumbling and falling into them. I can spend hours in there. I just love it. Especially my parents live in Spain. So the Zara home out there is amazing and obviously it's cheaper because Zara's from Spain so I always shop it out there as well when I go. Anyway I picked up some pieces from Zara mainly for my office space so I got this vase and I'm kind of loving this kind of like boho -y vintage style at the minute for homeware. I feel like I kind of want to change my whole house up for it. I'm just adding pieces in now and just kind of like mixing it up rather than it all just being silver and mirrored i really like these kind of like creams and this kind of like vintage ceramic finish on this so this jar i'm pretty sure it was like 20 pound no the stick is not on the bottom but it's a really nice size and i'm obviously going to fill this with some greenery and put this on my desk i think it will just make a nice little addition to my desk because i feel like my desk i love it but it's so minimal and plain at the minute i need little touches like this and kind of like greenery around the house i feel like that's what the house is lacking like plants and stuff to just bring it alive so little vases like this are just perfect and even if this doesn't end up on my desk i'm sure i'll find a home for it because you always just need vases around the house and i absolutely love this one i also got Got from Zara home my absolute favorite if you watched my last updated home tour you will know I have these candles everywhere around my house they just smell amazing and a whole house smells of this scent and it is the white jasmine and I always get this big candle 
I've actually got it here on a little tray. I've got it in every single room in the house. I absolutely love it. So, oh my God, I love the smell of a fresh candle. Yeah. Absolutely love the smell of this. It's just so fresh and especially for spring at the minute. It's just so nice to have in your home. Always have candles burning. And this one's really good price for the size of it. I'm pretty sure it's $17.99. So I always get the big one. And then alongside it, I always get the diffuser. So this is the medium size diffuser. They have small, medium and large. And the diffuser is always more expensive, but I got the medium size in this. And again, these just make really nice features in the house. So if you wanted to style up your shelves or you've got like a little tray on your coffee table like we have here, these just make a nice little feature. So I needed some top of these, so I did a little order. So I actually saw this piece in the stores quite a while ago and I was really like umming and ahhing if to get it kept going online put it in my basket then removing it because they have it in two sizes and I ended up going with this size which is the smallest size so obviously you guys know what this is it's a timer and I'm pretty sure this one is for 15 minutes so obviously once the sand goes out you know 15 minutes is up so I thought this is a perfect little addition for my desk and I love this kind of feature of it and obviously it matches in with the colour of the vase with like the browns going through it and the neutrals. So I thought this would be perfect to put on my desk and obviously then I have a timer so I can sort of flip this over and then I know to get my emails done in 15 minutes, set myself tasks and I think this is really good for productivity as well. So as long as being a cute little homeware piece, this is going to help me whilst doing my work. But yeah, this is the smaller size and I think this is big enough and this would even look really cool if you wanted to make it like a feature on your shelves or just like a decorative accessory. And then I also got this little box from Zara Home and you guys know obviously I loved my kind of like mirrored and silver pieces throughout my home if you've seen my home tours so I wanted this little box to sit on my desk again and I thought it would just be a really cute little feature and I can kind of just keep receipts in here and you know there's like bits and bobs that you don't really know where to put I thought this would be perfect for it to just store away and obviously it looks so lush and this looks a lot more expensive than it is I think it was like 20 pound 15 pound even if that. So Zara Home is really good for their prices at the minute and these pieces are all really good quality. Okay, so moving on, I wanted to get some new pieces to style the shelves we have here in the living room. So I feel like they've just been very mixed match. They do not match the theme of the room or the house and I've kind of just like gutted it all out and I've gone and brought loads of new pieces for it. So I picked up these books from Amazon. You probably have seen these if you are into like interiors and home stuff. These books are quite like popular when you see in styling and in the home. So this one is called This Is Home and it is the and it is by Natalie Walton. And it's actually really interesting inside. Kind of gives like tips on how to style your home. And it's just got so much inspo in here. I absolutely love it. So as well as obviously making it like a piece to put on your shelves. It actually gives you a lot of insight into how to sell your home and there's like loads of things in here which is really interesting. So I love the book, I love how sort of like minimalistic it is and again it's kind of bringing in that cream tone. So along with that I also got this book and I've seen this is quite Instagrammable at the minute, it's very popular in people's homes as well and I love it, eat, drink, nap, that is what life is about right now. So this is bringing the house a home, it's from the Soho house. So again, inside here is actually really interesting. Like there's recipes and all different stuff inside. So I've actually been having a flick through and found it really interesting, like some breakfast recipes here and also obviously like things in the home. So I just thought this is really cute and perfect kind of book to put on your coffee table, put on the shelves. So I thought these two would sit really well together because they're kind of the same colorings, same size. And I got both of these from Amazon. They came so quick. We do have Amazon Prime, so it normally comes quicker. And they were actually reduced at the minute. So I'll link them down below. Hopefully they are still in stock. because I'm pretty sure one of these is like 30, reduced to 20, something like that. But yeah, really good prices for these books. And then also from Amazon, I feel like I'm Mary Poppins pulling stuff out of this box. I also got this basket. Literally, as I was getting the items around the house to film this video, I realised that this actually pulled out. It was kind of like tucked in and I was so confused because I thought it was like an absolute catfish of a basket, but it was bigger than I thought. It's not big enough. I wanted it to be like a quite a big basket to make a statement in the home and have it on the floor as a feature to look quite rustic and have like blankets and stuff coming out of it. So it is a little bit smaller than I wanted, but still these are really handy to have around the home. 
and I also got this blanket from Amazon to sort of have draped over the sofa and have in here just when we need an extra blanket we've got guests over and stuff like that so I thought this was really cute it's got the little tassels here and then this kind of like chevron um, pattern going through it of the grey and cream so I thought this would just look nice kind of like rolled up and hanging out of here it kind of catch my vibe of how I wanted it to look obviously I wanted the basket to be a little bit bigger but we can make this work I might even put this in my office and have it in there and then hopefully get another basket ordered which I can have in here so I think things like this are just really useful to have around the house and make like a little cute feature and again like I was saying I kind of want to bring this kind of like rustic and boho vibe into the house as well and mix it up so next is this piece and I kind of saw this over a lot of home pages on Instagram. I was saying earlier, I've discovered loads of new home brands like Hudson Home, Laid Lounge. And I saw this on their pages and I also saw it on Zara Home. But the Zara Home one was bigger in size, whereas this one is smaller. And I managed to find it on John Lewis for cheaper. This was only, I think, 15 at 99 so I'll link it down below for you guys and it came really fast as well. But it's actually like a rope doorstop. That's meant to be the use for it. But I saw it on Instagram as a piece to put on your shelf as a decorative accessory and I absolutely loved it. And I think this is so cool and it's going to make a really nice feature on the shelves here. Again, kind of bring in these cream tones and break up sort of the silvers that are going on. But yeah, this one is great because it's smaller, like I said, from John Lewis and cheaper. If you are looking for it for like a decorative accessory, I recommend and get it from there and also its purpose is a doorstop and I think it would make a really cute doorstop as well and I also got this from John Lewis so I was googling for ages like candle jar holder like hurricane over the candle like I couldn't figure out what the term was for this and it's actually called a cloche or cloche I'll put the word on the screen so you guys can figure out what I mean but I can't put, I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly but that is what this is and I've seen it in so many homes I absolutely love it to go over your candles and actually place this over my favorite Jo Malone candle on my little footstool here in the living room and it makes such a pretty feature it adds just a little bit more depth and I think it makes it look a lot more high-end and this was only 15 pound so I know the white company did do them but they sold out I'm pretty sure so again I found this on John Lewis for really cheap and I absolutely love it I think I might get a few more and plop them around my little candles because I really love them and it's a good way to kind of put your candles out afterwards as well. So last but not least is these pieces that I ordered from a company called Layered Lounge and they actually do 20% off when you subscribe to their website so I use that offer and obviously got my 20% off and I got these two little kind of they're called sea urchins and they kind of go in with the theme of having like coral pieces around your house and I thought these were cute and make a little statement on the shelves or even if you wanted to put these in like a jar or a vase or something like that but I got two of them I think they were like £12 each and I love them I think they're just really different and also add a different kind of texture into your accessories especially if you're styling a shelf it kind of breaks it up with the white and just having like a different texture as I said. So love these, gonna put them on my shelf and I'm excited to finally actually style these shelves up. And I also got two jars from Layered Lounge. I'm gonna get it here off my coffee table, which is this one. And Chris kindly brought me some flowers this week. I kind of went for this pastel tones, absolutely love them. I've got like tulips, roses, all different colors in here. And I filled these two vases. So the other one is actually sat on the shelf at the minute, but obviously I thought I'll just show you this because it's the exact same. So this vase, again, is from Layered Lounge. And I love the shape of it. It's kind of a little bit off. It's not central. And then it comes up here. And I think this is like the perfect size, again, for, as you can see with the flowers inside, to just sit on a coffee table. I did originally get these to go either side of the TV and make a feature and put like dried flowers in them. But once I kind of placed them, I realized it didn't kind of work with the setting of the black TV and the cabinet so I think this looks better on the coffee table or just I'll scatter these around the house because obviously we've got two of them yeah I love these so Laid Lounge really came through they were fast delivery and obviously they're also offering at 20% so highly recommend I'm definitely gonna keep up to date and see their new and pieces that they have I'm pretty sure that is it my old Mary Poppins box has come to an end I feel like I did get some more pieces though so I feel like loads
videos has been coming in this week and I've been kind of stocking them up to do this haul and obviously been waiting on the other pieces to arrive. But yeah, I've pretty much shown you everything that's come in at a minute and then make sure you hit subscribe so you can see part two of this homeware haul and sort of how I style the pieces around my house if you are interested in that. But if you did like this video guys, please give it a like and I'll definitely come back with a lot more home stuff because I generally love it at the minute. I can't stop home shopping, my bank account hates me but I'm loving it and I feel like this is the perfect time when you're at home to sort of invest in your home as well because it's where I'm spending my most time. I really hope you did like this video guys, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I'll see you then.